that left us dumbfounded. A man brazen and bold enough to steal a barbecue smoker. Well, now the owners, they have it back, and that smoker is really their livelihood. Ariel Placencia spoke with them about getting back to work, cooking up good food and good times. About two weeks ago, I stood right here and told you what happened. So let's show you guys where the smoker was. It was in the alley behind the restaurant. You'll notice they've got cameras here. They caught the entire thing on tape. But today, I get to deliver good news. It's back. Getting the smoker back, it means everything. Just a great feeling to have it back. What that time say. Glenn and Katina Wilburn have their hands full these days. Three minutes. Now that the heart and soul of the restaurant Three is back where it belongs. I almost was in tears. You know, it was like a piece of me was gone, and finally I got it back. Earlier this month, the restaurant's security cameras caught a man stealing the Wilburn smoker. In just two minutes, it was gone. That's the main thing I was really concerned about, you know, how am I going to continue doing what I'm doing? You know, I got a lot of people depending on me. After we introduced you to the Wilburns, the calls came flooding in. Dozens of viewers reaching out to our newsroom offering to lend Glenn's kitchen a spare smoker. Yes. We were on our way to McKinney to be able to get the smoker from Michael um, when we got the call. A call the Wilburns weren't sure was ever going to come. I knew it was mine when I first saw it. The circumstances are admittedly a bit weird. Police tell the Wilburns someone randomly spotted the smoker here near the intersection of Redbird Lane and Hampton Road. He did use it. He had some different type of wood. It wasn't no smoking wood. Today, the smoker works just fine. The Wilburns now using their GoFundMe money on additional security. I got a lock down now. I'm finna barricade it to where they can't get to it. It's a boat lock, so it's better protection. The pickles and peppers and hot sauce. So. One man's actions could have caused their business to go up in smoke. We are so thankful. But today, one thing remains clear. Oh, it was a lot of support from the community, and I just want them to know. You're welcome. I'm here for the community. In Dallas. All right, thank you. Have a good rest of your day. I'm Ariel Placencia.